Hey, it's Jody Paydar here, the Radical CPA. And uh, once again, I've been banished to my office because um, it's tax season and there's kind of a lot of commotion going on out there. Anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys today on my newsletter and on Periscope and talk about um, being a hunger-driven firm. And the reason I say that tongue-in-cheek is because uh, I remember years ago when my one of my older one of the firms that I used to work with was hiring they actually used to put that on their um, job uh, you know job recruitment strategy it was that they were a hunger driven firm and I always thought it was funny because um, the firm itself actually the only reason they were hunger driven is because they would run to the break room for snacks and stuff but anyways um, briefly I just want to talk about tax season and something that I did this past weekend which is going to help um, tremendously in my life during tax season and that is is that I went and I created um, a meal plan for frozen dinners and I know um, a lot of people do this stuff all the time mm -hmm. but it's the first time that I'm actually doing it um, so this weekend, my husband, myself, and my two teenagers went to Costco. We spent about 200 bucks on food. And um, prior to that, I went to a website, and I downloaded uh, recipes um, and a shopping list to make these 20 bags of freezer meals. And um, we did it this weekend. It took us about three hours total. And I'm so excited because I feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders because I don't have to think about dinner now for the next month. Um, and a half, I don't know, It'll probably, we'll probably go through it in a month because I'm sure we'll still eat out a little bit, but not as much as we had been before. And to me, that's a huge um, time saver, um, not having to think about dinner. But I think even more importantly than a time saver, it's a whole like energy drain saver because, you know, the last three weeks of tax season, we've eaten out or I've gotten take home every night and I'm sick of it. And the problem isn't actually cooking. The problem is thinking about what I'm going to cook for dinner. And um, and it's that whole decision that has to be made either in the morning or at the end of the day that is exhausting to me during tax season when all this other stuff is happening in my life, in my firm, that is making me um, stressed out. And, and, and I don't need to be stressed out about the stupid stuff i.e. what to have for dinner. So by just planning ahead a little bit and going ahead and doing that whole meal planning thing, um, it feels like my February is going to be so much lighter because tax season is, you know, stressful enough without having to worry about food. And now that's one decision off my plate. So what I would like you guys to think about is what are the decisions that you can take off of your plate, um, ha ha ha, no pun intended, and make sure that um, you take those things off your plate because tax season's got enough going on with all the customers we're seeing and all the complex tax stuff we're doing. And to me, that's the fun stuff of tax season. It's it's the life part that makes tax season so hard. So um, so that's it. I just wanted you guys to give you a heads up to think about what can you take off of your plate through a little bit of planning ahead so that you don't have those stressful what's for dinner um, decisions to make and continue um, working through tax season. So that's it from the Radical CPA. Thanks for joining today. And I'm glad that we have seven live viewers on Periscope. That's awesome. Uh, see you all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.